Welcome back to another Nintex Apps demo. Today, we're diving into charts, because what's better than turning raw numbers into meaningful visuals? We'll walk through the basic steps to set up a chart component so you can visualize your data with ease. Let's get started. The first thing we need is a data model to hold the data set for our chart. We've already set up a model called Entry Hours, which tracks the person, the week's start date, and total hours worked. To keep things manageable, we added a condition so that initially, the model only returns data for a specific user. But don't worry, we'll expand that later. Here's a handy trick. Before adding a chart, drag a table onto the page and link it to the model. This lets you see the source data clearly before diving into visualization. Now, let's drag the chart component onto the page. Make sure it's linked to the correct model, this is key. Let's give it a title, weekly hours and select line chart as our type. Now, we need to define how the data is structured. Here's where the magic happens, series settings. Expand the list and edit the default entry. Category field, this sets up the x-axis, we'll choose start date to track hours over time. Data field, this controls the y-axis, we'll select total hours to display work hours. And just like that, we have a basic line chart, but let's refine it further. For clarity, let's add custom labels to the X and Y axes. Simply expand the axes section and enter descriptions. This ensures your chart is easy to read. Here's something to keep in mind. The model only retrieves 20 records by default. If more data exists, clicking Load More updates the chart dynamically. To avoid confusion, you might want to set conditions to limit data or increase the default row count in the model. Ideally, we would want the model to contain all the data that we want to visualize. Let's take it to the next level. What if we want to compare data across multiple users? Simply remove the condition that restricts the model to one user. Then, edit the series settings. Choose split type, field and select split field, person. Now, each person gets their own individual line in the chart. Be adventurous, try different chart types and options to see what works best. Play around with aggregate functions in series settings and the stack series settings in the data arrangement section. And that's it, you've just mastered the chart component in Nintex apps. Now it's your turn, experiment, refine and make your data shine. Hit like if you found this helpful and subscribe for more Nintex tutorials.